So I got uh, some more slots cut in the feet. So you can see the skin can go right through here. Hopefully I don't break the foot off. Uh, same thing on here. So we are going to take this skin out. Here's our skin. Now let's try this one more time. And let's see. Okay, we gotta stretch the skin out carefully. And after I do this, I'm going to stick pins in where the eyes go or where I think they need to go. Therefore, I can start putting the detail um, in the face. And okay. Uh, tucking. So now we've got our foot here. There you can see, you can start to see a foot right there. So let's see. Okay. And we need to peel the skin back. And we need to make sure we have a big enough crease, big enough divot, so that we can actually tuck the skin. Okay, so there's a foot, so that's good. We don't have to worry about the other foot because I didn't make one yet. And pull the skin back. We don't want to pull it tight, we want to leave crinkles in the skin just because that's how they normally are. And our back foot, that's always tricky. Laying down poses are always the hardest. So we want to pull this back some more. Okay, because that's got to go back. Put a couple crinkles up here. The, putting the crinkles in this thing is going to be like a three hour job and it's still not going to be done at the end of three hours. That's, you know, that's normal. I'm going to try really hard not to break this back foot off. Uh, because it's a little wobbly or wiggly, so we're going to be super careful. Let me, uh, get some items so we can tuck some skin back. And then I need to figure out where on here. I think this was a spot where I cut around my legs, so this belly needs to go down here a little bit more. And carefully pulling. I'll have to probably cut a little bit of this bondo off right here just so I can get it in there better. Oop, there we go. Okay. Here we go. So there's the feet. Oh, it's got feet. Oh, look at that. It's awesome. Okay. So that's. And I go back to here, and obviously, remember, I don't want feet on the other side, but that's okay for now. So here's our head with the ears and the eyes, and he's got feet. This has to be brought back. This brings down. And then when I sew this, I'm probably going to use um, dental floss, which works really good for sewing because it's super strong and it's really thin. So there is our hairless rag. So you can see a little bit better. So he looks pretty awesome. We've got the feet on there. There's the tail and then our belly when we... Obviously, this will meet with this, and then that will be sewn. This will come down, and this tail will go right like that. So, now what we're going to do is we are going to pin some where the eye holes need to, where the eyeballs need to go. Therefore, we know, and I can put the detail in the face, and I'll make marks. Um, where the ears are so I'll build up a little bit of clay there or bondo so the ears can set there so therefore I know when I mount it where they go because we want everything obviously to be lined up we don't want it to look like a crazy drunk rat but right now he does and then we'll make divots for the mouth because the mouth will obviously have to thin all that and it'll have to be tucked in and this will have to 
yeah. So we got lots of work to do, but it's a start. So there's our hairless rat form. Almost there.